Welcome to Langrisser Lore, the series where I forgot to bring my microphone on vacation and couldn't make any videos, and today I am happy to bring you the story of Landius, the adopted one. Landius checks off everything you could want in a Langrisser protagonist. He has ridiculous hair, a tragic backstory, and plenty of love interests. The only thing that makes him different is that he's the only protagonist who's not a descendant of light. Landius was born in Recreo Village, the place where humans and Crimsonians lived in harmony. Landius may have been born on Earth, but his parents come from the Red Moon Crimso. This means he's like Rainforest, Shalinka, and Brenda. So he has an unnaturally long life and is stronger and better than most humans. So naturally, I relate to him on a personal level. When Recreo Village is destroyed by a flood, Landius is swept downstream and his parents are killed. He washes up at Gotel Village and was adopted by the village chief. The chief already had two children of his own, Ricky and Rachel. So in order to fit in, Landius briefly changes his name to Randius before he realizes that's just stupid. My name is Randius. Landius had a hard time fitting in because much like myself, he was the child that was chosen. And as the chosen and adopted child, it's our duty to remind our siblings that our parents were stuck with them and chose us because we're better. I'm definitely the least favorite child now, but at one point, I was the golden child. My name is Randius. But speaking of falls from grace, Landius had his home life destroyed when Gizaroff hatched a dastardly plan to tax the village into poverty. When the village rebelled, Gizaroff brought down the force of the Rangenberg Federation down on that rabble militia. While the game claims that Gizaroff did this to obtain a crystal to power a mech that would help him conquer the world, I know the real reason. And that was to break up the quasi-incestuous relationship between Landius and Rachel. Look, I don't care if they're not really siblings. If you grow up with someone and call them your brother or your sister, you can't marry them. Not allowed. No matter how cute their little hat is. My name is Randius. Landius leads a rebellion to fight back against Gizaroff and free his sister slash love interest, but Ricky has other plans. Ricky was jealous of his adopted brother, who was getting all the attention, and decided that he needed in on some action. He started creeping on Shelfania while she was bathing and got caught. And in order to avoid being castrated, he roped his big brother into fighting a war to help regain the kingdom of Kakansis, which had fallen victim to a demon who was trying to challenge Chaos for the role of God. Now, to make matters even more confusing, My name is Bozel managed to infiltrate Landius' forces, working hard to strengthen Chaos in the wake of the demon coup. Jessica decides to finally show up and convinces Landius that he is strong enough to wield the power of the Langrisser, despite not being a descendant of the Light. From here, Landius has three choices. He can work with Jessica, work with Bozel and Chaos, or work on his own, conquering the world and establishing it in his own image where no one could question the icky nature of his love for his kind of sort of sister. We've all played enough Langrisser to know how the story goes. The hero gets the good sword, he defeats the bad guys with the bad sword, he saves the female love interest, and so on and so forth. But here's where it gets interesting. Even though Landius manages to save the day, Ricky becomes the golden child when he marries Shelfaniel. So much like with my story, the hero is overthrown and replaced by the youngest child. And if my little brother is watching this, I hope he knows that our parents chose me, even if he is the favorite. Now, on a more serious note, I do want to use my platform for something that I don't typically do, which is being serious. So, I myself was adopted, it's why I feel comfortable making these jokes about Landius, and adoption was honestly a huge part of making my life better. I could honestly say that there would be no videos if I hadn't been adopted, which, you know, some of you might prefer, but here we are. I was taken out of a really bad home situation and raised by a great loving family, and as much as I joke about them being not my real family and how they're not really my brothers and you know that I was the chosen one to be honest I just love being part of a family so if you do have the opportunity look into fostering look into adopting it can change someone's life it changed mine 
and hopefully we can give back when my wife and I get a little bit older. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Please consider adoption, and I will see you next time. My name is Randius.